then I think the best method to avoid fear or regret at the time of death is while we are alive. Our time, our energy must utilize meaningful way. Serving other, that's I think the most profound sort of way of or meaning of usefulness. One's own survival, even animals also it can do. Uh, but for service to others, is something unique about human being. I think bondage way. No. No, mother and child or offspring. The bond. Uh, uh, the bond between mother bond. and the offspring. Even other animals also have. But there, sort of that kind of closeness feeling, short period. But we, human being, because of intelligence, that kind of feeling, we can prolong the whole our life. Ex yeah, extend it through our life. Ah. So, serving other people, helping other people, is, the, I think, uh, very, very appropriate sort of action according our intelligence, right? Or human ability. We have such sort of ability. So to utilize that ability, in the most appropriate way, or most appropriate way is serving other people. Then, at the end, you feel no regret. I done my best, some useful sort of meaningful life. Now and come, although sorry, sad, but no regret. The ultimate source of uh, satisfaction within ourselves, if you do wrong things, mainly harming others, you get negative consequences. If you do helping others, bring more happiness to others, you get benefit. More inner strength there, and more sort of confidence of purpose of life, and fulfillment about that purpose, then you always feel happy. Important uh, factor is determination. And you should not think that this development can take place within a few days or a few years. We must understand, you see, that this development even may take eons. <laughs> <coughs> so you say our determination, if a, if a, uh, sorry, consider as a Buddhist uh, and, and, and want to really uh, practice as a Buddha Dharma, then right from the beginning, you must, you see, make up your mind. Oh, doesn't matter. Even may take millions of billions, billions of eons. Doesn't matter. You see, the, uh, the, what say they? After all, what is the purpose of our life? The meaning of existence? Uh, nothing. Uh, you realize something uh, positive. Then, even you see, days and months or eons, uh, it is meaningful. If you are really wasting our life, purpose of our life, then even one day, too long. Uh, so, uh, once you are determined, once you make up your mind, some kind of firm determination, and clear as the objective way, uh, and then time is not important. So they like you see is one one of the you see prayer. There's so long space remain, so long sentient beings uh, let's say, uh, suffering remain. I will remain in order to serve. Because that sentence really you see, gives me some kind of inner stand and also I think inspiring. So the more sort of you see the impatience and as I mentioned before you see the want something the quickest or best or something, then I think the result also poorest, I think. <laughs> the cheapest method, quickest, cheapest method, result will be poorest. <laughs> so, you see, no. so you see, that's I think wrong. 
So that I would like to share with you. Uh, so that's why you see, I myself, although you see, uh, recite you see, some mantra or you see, some visualization, you see, certain mandalas, but my, in my daily practice, although my practice is very poor, very poor, but even then, you see, there, I, my you see, main emphasis on this four noble truth and buddhichitta and karuna. So that really, I feel, it's a something practical benefit. Then through these practices, you will get something practical benefit. Visualization is a big deities. Uh, sometimes I think they, uh, sorry, cheating oneself. Almost, almost you say like, is it cheating oneself. Uh, deceiving oneself. Deceiving, one, <laughs> deceiving one, oneself. Uh, so therefore, uh, uh, I think, you see, we, we must you see, practice step by step. And with patience, with determination. <coughs> Once you involve or dedicated or determined practice, then some improvement you can see, you see, year by year, decade by, at least decade by decade, then you can see, oh, at least some change, some, some improvement you can see. Once you, once you see that, that also gives you, gives you some kind of new encouragement. So it's a change, yeah, not easy, not easy. If the rest of the people really feel uh, me as a politician, and furthermore, bad politician, <laughs> then I feel sad. <laughs> or cunning, a cunning, liar politician, then, and of course, no problem, no problem. <laughs> some say something good person, some say bad person, that doesn't matter. So long, my own motivation for thinking is honest, sincere. That's, that's important. That's simple Buddhist monks. Actually, you see, Buddha, you see, taught. Don't care for the others, others saying. If one say too much praise, then at that time should think, oh, I also have the critics. And then uh, one say, you see, a lot, lot of criticism, then you should think, oh, some people praising me. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Too much sort of, because of the pay much attention. These things are silly. When we uh, feel a certain sort of irritation, during that moment, if that person concentrate fully on the breathing, nothing else. And breathing, one, two, three, like 5, 10, 15, 20. When you start breathing, mental state irritated. But then after 20, 30 uh, sort of uh, breathing, uh, your mental state will be a little different, a little more calm. Since we are dealing with emotions, so the best method to deal with that is so-called so meditation. Not for next life, not for heaven, <laughs> but is it for day to day's well being? Ultimate source of happy life is our inner value. So, therefore, irrespective of whether believer or non believer, whether believe religion or not, uh, see, we should pay more attention about our inner value. Now scientists, uh, now, according to the latest scientific findings, uh, uh, it now sort of clear that even uh, good health or healthy body, the healthy mind is very essential. More peaceful mind, uh, brings healthy body because mind calm uh, peaceful then our healthy uh, I mean our body sort of element also you see then remain more balanced so that brings healthy body 
and too much stress, too much worry, uh, disturb our body element. That creates uh, certain sort of problems about this body. So therefore, calm mind is very essential. We are a social animal, we human being, social animal. Uh, and particularly in modern time, the reality, economy, environment, and many things heavily interdependent. That's the reality. Uh, unlike, I think, uh, uh, past sort of as the ancient time, ancient time more or less independent, self-sufficient. They say not depend. Your interest, not not uh, your interest or your future, not depend on other. But now, completely change. So even from the selfish viewpoint, you have to take care about others' well-being. You just think yourself, uh, the blind selfish. Think yourself, forget other, or worst thing, exploit other, cheating other, bully other. Ultimately, you suffer through this mischievous way. You may gain some temporary sort of benefit, but in deep inside, you feel uncomfortable. Then eventually, you truly become a lonely person. Nobody loves you. Nobody respects you. If you take care of others, as a human brother or sisters, sincerely, uh, uh, seriously, then everybody becomes your friend. Uh, so, when you have truly trusted friend there, if you need something, you can ask them. If you becoming friendless or lonely person, and when you really facing some problems, nobody you can share. <laughs> so ultimately, we are social animal. So even other animal, no law. No education, no religion, but you see, they have some kind of sort of feeling. Uh, their own individual survival depends on the rest of the community or herds. So they work together. I am one of the individual out of uh, seven billion human beings. If human being, rest of the human being, happy, peaceful, I get maximum benefit. The rest of the world get trouble. How can I escape from that? And with that feeling, when I meet people, one or two, one, one people, or one person, or 10 people, 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, I always consider them as my brothers, sisters. That brings me, in, in mental level, completely relaxed. If I feel I'm something different from them. Then some nervousness, <laughs> some anxiety may develop. So once your own way of thinking, open, uh, reach out to them as a close friend, that tremendous sort of benefit, peace of mind. Then others also feel, no longer feel stranger. Another human brothers like that. So that, I think, we really, nowadays, we really need that. So through that way, awareness. Then from children, I think youngsters, I think they know they just one child remain lonely, may cry, and play with other children, feel very happy. <laughs> so that's the human nature. So sometimes we grown up, then we always calculate if I make friends, friendship with that, how much I get some benefit. <laughs> or make friendship, then I can exploit or something. Then, then genuine basis of friendship no longer there, destroyed. Basis of genuine friendship is trust. Trust depends on openness. Like that. So, 
through these things we can train. And then uh, mental level, no matter what your physical level, busy. But mental level, always calm, restful, relaxed. Immense benefit for your health. So mental health, body health, very close link. So the ultimate source of mental health is warm-heartedness. That's my belief. Maybe wrong. <laughs> my friend have to research, more research work 